It's not every day that you find a body swinging under one of the, the great old story bridges in London. Roberto Calvi was one of the most powerful figures in Italy. This man had so many enemies. Criminals, Catholic cardinals, the Italian ministers, and ultimately the Pope. The question of who killed Calvi is who didn't kill Calvi. From the very beginning, you had contradictions in the official account. This was an incident about which there were still questions to be answered. Calvi was somebody whose time had come. It seemed to be the kind of Masonic conspiracy that everybody had always suspected the Freemasons of being. He's a member of this secret underground organization that counts some of the most powerful people in the country. Calvin may have been carrying sensitive financial documents relating to the Bologna bombing. Everybody was involved. What were the secrets that Calvi had? To go against those common interests is to risk your life. The Vatican Bank was related with Roberto Calvi and the Mafia. NATO and CIA was involved. There were people who were petrified about what Calvi might say. When you talk, you die. It's a very basic rule. You don't talk. <laughs>